This is Rich Steves on the floor at CompTel Plus. I'm here with Drake Livingston, Senior Vice President at Spread Networks. Drake, thanks for joining us. Rich, thank you very much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Tell us a little bit about Spread Networks. Well, Spread Networks built a completely brand new fiber optic network between Chicago and New York that has set the standard for high speed, that's low latency, for reliability and for diversity between those two markets. And uh, in fact, what we've done is we've created a range of services, including dark fiber services between Chicago and New York, dedicated data, that's lit wavelengths, uh, hands-on customer support, and uh, technical support in the field so that we can support our customers' uh, equipment on that route, as well as co-location facilities along the entire route for our customers. Sounds like a lot of great services. Tell us about some of the other things that differentiate your company. Well, really what differentiates Spread Networks from the other carriers that are in this space is that is two things primarily. One, the uniqueness of our footprint in our route, and two, the high reliability that we've built into this route. So to understand that, let me give you a little bit of background. Because traditionally carriers, when they built long haul networks like those between Chicago and New York, they would hop from major city to major city kind of uh, haphazardly to connect those two long haul points. What we did, because we wanted to build the most direct route possible, is that we built pretty much as the crow flies. We dug a trench between Chicago and New York. What that's enabled us to do is it's enabled spread networks to deliver a very high speed, low latency network to the trading networks, the, the trading companies and firms, and at the same time to deliver services to carriers that offer the, the most direct route and the most reliable uh, route between Chicago and New York. Thank you very much. Now, people who follow this space might have some questions about microwave networks. What can you say about those? Yes, really just for the low latency trading shops, microwave networks have proven to be a way to get faster between Chicago and New York, but they've had to deal with issues like the very low reliability and the extremely low bandwidths of microwave networks. So most of our, many of our customers use microwave networks, but they're not moving away from the extreme reliability and basically infinite bandwidth that fiber provides. And for example, um, at my house, I use a cell phone because it's quick and easy. But uh, if I'm, if the kids are talking to the grandparents and I'm passing the cell phone around, we have spotty coverage. Or if I want to call 911, I use a landline. The same thing applies to our customers when they need to ensure extreme reliability and, and very high bandwidth, they're going to stick with the fiber line. That's an excellent analogy. Now, finally, Drake, tell us what's new for your company. Well, what's new for Spread is that we continue to expand out in both uh, connecting to new data centers and offering new services. And for example, uh, we recently connected to the new DuPont Fabros data center that's in Piscataway, New Jersey, and we continue to look for new locations in both the New Jersey, New York side of our network, as well as the Chicago side of our network to connect up to. And we're offering new services in addition to the dark fiber and other services I mentioned, we've now offered 100 gig wavelengths to carriers. And we can expand up to eight terabits per second uh, using 100 gig wavelengths. So it's basically, again, we're, we're able to provide the fastest, uh, most direct route, the most diverse route that's separate from any other carrier in the space. And we're able to provide it in a way that is much more reliable than any other carrier. Great, Drink, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Rich, I appreciate you having me.